Ice sculptures that had cost thousands of dollars and helped beautify a Delaware County community were smashed into pieces over the weekend. Now police are searching for the vandals. Matt Petrillo has more now from media. <laughs> it was very beautiful. It was a penguin. Liz McLearen of the Media Arts Council paid part of the $350 tab to have this frozen work of art outside her gallery driving a lot of foot traffic. Triple what a typical Saturday would be in January. Not many people. Yes. Yeah, it was awesome. But the next day. When I came on Sunday, I saw that there was no ice sculpture. Of the 30 ice sculptures on display here in media over the weekend, police believe someone intentionally knocked over six, shattering them into pieces. It's a shame. Brittany Shar of the nonprofit Be the Joy Foundation showed us a photo of her sculpture from when it was on display Saturday, just hours before it was also smashed. It was beautiful. <laughs> we lit it up at night. Um, we had so much traffic all day long. There was people coming on foot, lots of kids, and we had a huge success that day. We fundraised $1,333. Her organization gives money to those in need, but she decided not to fundraise on Sunday without the sculpture. For us, it didn't really make sense. You know, everyone's coming to see the ice sculptures. Artist Peter Slavin helped create the sculptures. It's just a shame because a lot of people, a lot of families came out on Sunday. To see a lot of the sculptures and uh, they were broken. But one design was damaged another way. A media police officer saw this sculpture on a table get blown over by whipping wind Saturday night, leaving it in ruins. We had some unfortunate incidents from Mother Nature and others, uh, but the event still went on. It was still a really great time and we hope to bring this back next year. Police say they're reviewing security video and hope to identify a suspect. In media, Matt Petrillo, CBS Philadelphia.